What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Bell Tune Racing. Today we're actually going to paint the front end on the Camaro. We already painted the engine bay. But today we will be painting all the tube front end and all the mounts for like the headlights. We ended up changing those up. This is a little bracket I came up with that comes and holds the headlight. We got the turbo mounts and all the Maven stuff welded up down here. We also got these brackets here to mount up the lower part of the uh, front bumper so that those can get bolted in and everything. So we're going to uh, get this thing painted. I actually saw a picture of a car that had it like two-toned white and then the bars black and I kind of like that because I never really cared for the color of the bars being white. It just doesn't look right to me. Something else that we've been working on is getting the dash mount in here. So now we have the Holly 6.86 inch dash mount. We'll get the dash all put in here at some point and show you guys, but this came out super, super slick little thing that we've been working on kind of behind the scenes, but man, is it cool. So this time I tried to go get a big respirator and a, like a real paint respirator to, uh, you know, not kill myself like last time, but I got a little one. So at least that'll be a little bit better than nothing. Well, I don't know how we ended up here, but I think we got everything mostly taped off, trying to protect everything up in the wheel well, all the suspension. Uh, Alex is a master taper offer for sure. Me as well, and AJ is now certified. So welcome to the club, buddy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go, and I'm going to get the gun set up, and then we're going to paint this thing. Got the handy-dandy Harbor Freight paint gun back out. So I went down to my favorite store, DNS, down here for paint. Got some black and some hardener for the black. This is MTK9300 black single stage, uh, similar to what I think we did in the... Engine bay, but that was, I think, 2K, if I remember right. My little Harbor Freight air compressor set up. We'll check um, the pressure now. <laughs> Looks about right from last time. Trevi's paint tip again, going in hot. So, four to one mixture, and uh, I think I'm gonna leave it at four to one. If it seems thick, then I, I might add a little thinner, but four to one, we'll go, you know, one to one. Uh, I don't need very much for the engine base, so I might just do the little bit to begin with, and we'll see how far we get. Oh, God. Well, I kind of felt that one. Well, might be one and a half. Oh, goodness. And yeah, we'll figure it out. A little, little over, I went to the one to one on that, on that second little bit. Toss some hardener in this thing. We'll guesstimation it at a little over one to one. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? There it is. One and a half, one and a half. That should work just fine. If not, AJ's fault. Probably. <laughs> there we go. How are we doing, huh? That should make a cage black. But it's very black, black. Here we go. All right, here we go. Start in and then work our way back out, I guess.
So we got some spots good, some spots definitely a little thin, but uh, working our way around here, I should have probably tried to reach in from the backside. So I lowered the car so I can spray through there and hit all that. But otherwise, we'll just keep chipping away at it. It throws paint everywhere. Hopefully I don't get any on my nice white engine bay, but hopefully we taped it off good enough. But uh, there's some spots that are looking really good like that. Like I said, some that are a little thin, but we'll keep working at it. Just realized one really critical part that we didn't think about or that I thought about that I bought the stuff for, but that we didn't do because I jumped into painting was primering the uh, bars, which we sanded everything down with 80, but like we still should have probably used some self-etching primer. So, which I bought, which I have, but we didn't use for some reason. I guess that's just getting in a hurry and not paying attention. Uh, oh, well, we'll figure it out. So while we wait for this tack up, I think I'm just going to keep sending it. We did sand it, we did prep it really, really well. And then I talked to Trevor, actually the 9300, the MTK, he thinks that might be more industrial, probably a better bonding property to it anyway, or whatever. Most of the stuff kind of hangs, hangs turbos. It's just kind of the bars. It's not really, I mean, just kind of out there. So it's not like a lot of it gets wore, wear and tear and some of it, a lot of it's under the body anyway. So I'm just gonna keep spraying it. Round number two. Round number three. Got the car up in there. I'm gonna to try to uh, spray all the angles I can't get from this way or that way. Just kind of spray it back out at it. Well, we are three coats down. There are still quite a few areas where you can kind of see, you know, the, the metal kind of shining through. It almost looks like a little metal flake, but so need to hit it with a real heavy wet coat and I think it'll seal it in real, real nice. So I think I'm going to uh, add a little thinner to the next round, but so that'd fire up the Blackstone and get some dinner going on. So we got some burgers going in the shop now and uh, we'll eat and then we'll smash another layer on this thing. Well, I can't ever just stop and move on, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the bars underneath. Carter showed up, the other guys took off, and he helped me tape off all this. So we're just trying to paint these bars so they match the rest of the bars in the car. So we got everything taped off up here, kind of a mess, but we got it. And uh, we got to tape off the suspension back there just a little bit more. And then we're gonna spray. I ended up having some extra paint in my gun, so I might as well tape it off and spray it. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, so got some primer on the bars. It is super difficult to get like on top of the bar. Um, here's not terrible, but like there and over here, like good luck. So just trying to hit what I can, get 90% of all the bars, 95% of it all coated. Um, and then we should be able to spray some black here in just a minute, just letting this set up just a little bit better. Well, I forgot an outro, but here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed painting the tube front end on the Camaro. And if you guys want to see more on this build, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And we'll see you guys in the next video.